Hi guys, David here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install WordPress manually. Um, the reason I do it manually is because there's a few um, security issues with just using the one click install. Like a prefix is never usually changed, it's always WP underscore. Um, it also, the, your username is admin. So there's a few files as well at the end of this video so make sure you watch to the end. You must delete them because it leaves you wide open if there's a problem with your database. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need WordPress. So, so head over to WordPress.org and then go to Download and click the Download button. Um, I have it downloaded already, so it's pretty straightforward. And then you're going to need hosting. Um, I'm using Bluehost. So it doesn't really matter if you're using HostGator or anyone really. The process is pretty much the same. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a database. So you have to go down to MySQL database, click on that. Now the first thing we need to do is create our database. So I usually use the first three letters of whatever the site name is. So put it as DIY and then I'm just going to say create database ok and then it says it added database just go back now we're going to have to add a user for that database so we're going to go down here to user just going to use the same again Password. I'm going to use password generator. Copy that. And use password. And then you just click on create user. Okay. We've added our user. user to the database, we need to change that to the user of the database is the one we've just created. Um, this will only be one for you if it's your first site and the DIY is my database so I'm just going to say add and I usually just click all privileges and say make changes. That's it. You've created a database, a username and a password. Now, the next step is to go back into your cPanel. You're going to need to go down to your file manager. I'm just going to open this in a new tab. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. Um, some people um, are showing how to do it using FileZilla. The problem I have it is if your broadband's not that good, there's about 1200 files and folders to be uploaded and it usually takes a long time with FileZilla. So I find if you use File Manager and upload the zip file, it literally just takes a couple of seconds. So um, it's my preferred way, but it doesn't really matter whichever way um, suits yourself. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do it using your file manager in your cPanel. Just make sure you're in public underscore HTML here. And we're going to upload it into this. So we're just going to say upload. And then we're going to browse. And we're going to go to where I downloaded, I left it on my desktop for there it is, 4.1.1, just click that and say open. And it's starting the upload. Once it's completed uploading, just head back. We need to extract the contents of this zip folder. So all you have to do is just right click on it 
say extract or you can do it up here as a either just extract files and that's it um, it is an awful lot quicker than using FileZilla because you have uploaded the zip file it literally just takes a couple of seconds and as you can see there's an awful lot of files and folders and it's done in a few seconds so just close that now what we need to do is we need to get rid of this but we also need to move this get rid of this WordPress because it's it's in its own folder at the moment as you can see all contents of it but what we want is uh, we want it under DIY so I'm going to say select all when I double clicked on it that time uh, select all your files and folders and then just right click and say move and then it'll ask you where you want to move them to all you have to do is just delete that wordpress at the end and just say move files and it will move them all into then just click on up one level And there we go, all of it's in. All you need to do is just delete this folder here. Click delete, delete file. And that's it. Uh, your WordPress installed. You can get rid of this as well, the zip folder. Delete that as well. And that's it, WordPress is installed. Once you run your name, so whatever it is. Once you hit enter, it should bring you to the setup. So you just pick your language, whatever it is, and just say continue. And then it's just telling you you need to know your database. This is what we created earlier. Uh, so just say let's go. And then your database name. This was whatever you um, uh, called it. So it's and it's the same again. So I'll just pass that. And then need my password. Just add your password. And then your database host is localhost. It's nearly always localhost. This is one other thing you need to change to your table prefix. It's nearly always WP. It just leaves it easier for hackers. So you just want to make your, their life a bit harder. So just change this. Just leave the underscore. We'll just change it to something else. So I'm just going to change it to that. I'm going to say submit. And then it's all right, Sparky, blah, 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 run the install. And then you just want to put in the title of it, so. And username, I'm just going to put. Always change this, make sure you don't leave it as admin. Um, passwords. What it'll do for the moment and you can just pop in your email so just gonna say info I haven't created it yet but I will and allow search engines index the site install in WordPress There's just one more thing as well in your C panel. You want to make sure you get rid of. There's a few files and folders. There's this README. You want to delete that. And then you want to go up to your WordPress admin. Double click on that. And then you want to go down to the install.php file. 
this one here just click on that and say delete and delete file all you have to do now is um, type in your URL in your browser so whatever your web address is and hit enter and then it should show up the default WordPress team that's it guys I hope you liked the video if you do give us a thumbs up subscribe if you want and um, I'll see you in the next video cheers good luck